Hi everyone, it's Miss Beryl, and today we're going to review improper fractions and mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are really important, but they're not anything fancy, and you've probably been using them all your life. If you ever said you take a size four and a half shoe, or you're nine and a half years old, or the movie was two and a half hours long, you've been using mixed numbers. And a mixed number, when written, is one whole, a whole number, plus a fractional amount. It's the two things together. That is why they call it a mixed number. So it's a whole number plus a fraction. So let's look at what we have down below and let's figure out what this one is. If we're asked how many whole pizzas we have, our answer would be one, two, two whole pizzas. So I'm going to write that up here under the, the word whole, two whole pizzas. And then I have a fractional amount left right here. Now we can't count this as three because it is not a whole. It is part of a whole. So originally this pizza probably looked like this. I'm going to erase my arrow here. Originally the pizza had four parts, just like the others, and there's one part left. So one of the four are left. So our whole number is two, and our fractional amount is one-fourth, and when we put it together, our mixed number is two and one-fourth pizzas. All right, let's do a practice one here. I have the steps written down and you should be able to figure this one out since we have done it in class and you've just seen an example. The first step is count the number of whole units and that will be your whole number. Go ahead and pause and figure that out. All right, you should have counted your whole units as one, two, three, and four. Four whole rectangles. That is the whole number of our mixed number. The next step is to count the number of parts in one whole, and that is the denominator. Pause it. Okay, in doing this, you should have um, counted the number of parts in one of the big rectangles. I always go back to the first unit for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six parts. And it says that that is my denominator. And that is right. And now I need to go to the next step. Count the fractional parts that are left. That is the numerator. Okay, go ahead and pause it again. All right, well, I have already counted this one, this one, this one, and this one. They are all in my four. But here's my fractional part that are left because this was originally... It originally had six parts. So my fractional amount left is one, two, three. Three of the six. My mixed number for this problem then is four and three, six. That's it. Let's move on to improper fractions. Improper fractions are fractions that are greater than or equal to one, but they also have a numerator is larger than the denominator. Numerator greater than denominator. So how can this be? Well, it is when we don't we don't use a whole number. So what we do is we just keep counting the individual parts and then we put that total number over whatever number of parts are in one whole. So let me show you this. Okay, to figure out the improper fraction, the first thing I want to do is I want to see how many parts are in one whole. So I'm going to go ahead and count those. I have one, two, three, four parts to one whole. And I will write that down as my denominator. Remember, the number of parts in one whole is always going to be your denominator. In this case, it's four. To find my, denumer my numerator, I'm just going to count my total number of parts that um, are shaded. 
or that we're talking about, just like I would in a regular fraction. That is a proper fraction. So here I go. I have already have four. This would be five, six, seven, and eight, and one more over here, nine. So I'm counting fourths because these are all one fourths of pizza, and I see that I have nine fourths, nine little pieces. So I write that number on the top. And therefore, that is my improper fraction. I counted all my parts and put that number over the number of parts in one whole. Another way to state this, or might make it easier for you to understand, is that the number of, if I was using little fraction pies, the number of fourths it would take to make this picture would be nine. I would need nine little triangles like this to make my pizzas and my extra pizza. So I would need nine of the fourths. And that would be it. And now you get to put improper fractions into practice. So one other thing that I did want to say though, just because the word is improper, doesn't mean that type of fraction is wrong or there's something wrong with it. It's just another way to write a mixed number. And a lot of people find improper fractions easier, especially when adding or subtracting fractions. All right, so let's move on and let you practice on your own. I have the steps written down here, and we've done it in class, so you should be okay on this. Let's go ahead and look at the first step. Count the number, count the number of parts in one whole. That is the denominator. All right, so go ahead and pause right here and figure that out. All right, you should have come up with two as your denominator, and that is coming from finding the number of parts in one whole. So as we look, I always go back to the first one, one, two. I have two parts to one whole, so that's my denominator. Then my next step is to count the number of total parts, and that should be my numerator. And of course, that should be larger than the denominator because of the definition of what an improper fraction is. So go ahead and pause and figure that one out. All right, you should have gone through and counted um, on from where you left off to get all your parts. So I had two parts in the first one, but I'm going to continue to count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts. So I have nine parts or nine halves. So my entire improper fraction is 9 halves. And again, if I was using the little fraction blocks that we have, or the fraction pies, I would need to use 9 pieces that looked like that in order to make the picture that you see above. So these would be halves, and it would take me 9 of them to make that picture up there, or 9 halves. Pretty easy, huh? You guys have it. Good job.